You're watching Sport on Singapore. It is the show about all things Singapore sport. It's been a crazy month, April, and time really has flown by. We're going to touch on Singapore Badminton Open, the HSBC, Singapore Rugby Sevens, Netball Super League. But first, we're going to have a look at the main topic of the moment, which is the Singapore Slingers having qualified for their third ASEAN Basketball League final in four years. Exciting stuff, Duncan. Yes, well, exactly. The Slingers in their third ABL final in four years. They missed out in 2018, they were there in 2016 and 2017. But there was a determination when I met them earlier on in the year and the main target, everyone was on the same page to make it to the finals. And now that they're there, they're going to go and win it for the first time in the organization's history. I caught up with Delvin Go and he spoke a little bit about the pain of 2016 and 2017 and how they hope to erase that in 2019. Uh, we won both the first game, uh, 2016 and 17. Um, we came back being feeling comfortable, but then uh, this time around it's different. We got home to court advantage. Um, coming in, we're gonna go strong, and then with home court advantage, definitely we got our fans all out there, you know, out there supporting us and all that. So we've learned that you know we can't be comfortable. We gotta go all the way. We gotta put all the effort in, and then take two home games, and then go go to their go to their home, and then try and take another game, and then go for the championship. The Singapore Slingers, of course, defeating Hong Kong Eastern in the semi-finals in two games and also defeating the Macau Black Bears in the quarterfinals, which went really down to the wire. And what are the odds of them now facing their former teammate, Wong Wei Long, who plays for the CLS Knights? Interesting matchup that. Yes, very interesting indeed. And a bit of a worry, first of all, for the Singapore Slingers because they've had a long layoff ahead of this final. So worried about the momentum not being there going into this. But very even going to it, they were the third and fourth seeds in the normal season and they have a 2-2 two two record of the normal season as well. So it's anybody's game, but of course as Singaporeans, we want the Slingers to bring home the glory and for them to seal the deal this year in 2019 and be the ABL champions. Yes, we certainly hope so, Duncan. And you can show your support for the Singapore Slingers by coming down to the OCBC Arena this Friday for the very first game of the finals. If you're also a basketball fan and would like to have your kids pick up basketball, you can do so by signing up your kids for the Junior NBA program. The next round of selection is happening on the 18th and 19th of May. More details are in the link below. When we come back, we're going to have a look at the Singapore Badminton Open. Check out Active Health at Decathlon Singapore Lab. See you guys there. Welcome back to Spot on Singapore. And in the first segment, we looked forward for the Singapore Slingers and their activities in May. But let's have a look back in April. And of course, the Singapore Badminton Open, which saw the best shuttlers in the world come to Singapore. And John Yong, tell me more about the tournament and about Lin Dan, who did not participate as much as we would have liked. That's right, Duncan. Lin Dan pulling out after just 14 minutes of his match against Victor Axelsson of Denmark. A bit of a disappointment for fans, uh, but he did say that he hopes to participate in subsequent editions of the Singapore Open again. Uh, of course, the two number one seeds in the world winning their respective singles titles. Kento Momota of Japan winning the men's title despite starting off the tournament with a cold and eventually defeating Anthony Jinting, seventh seed in the world with a score of 10-21, 21-19 and 21-13. For the women's singles, Tai Tzu Ying defeated third-ranked Nozumi Okuhara in the final. Exciting uh, uh, competition. Japan, as expected, uh, dominated most of it. They won two out of the three doubles comp uh, categories as well. But much of the attention for us, of course, is on the Team Singapore Shuttlers. Uh, the best of which, I think, of, of among our shuttlers who went the progress the furthest would be Danny Bawa, Chris Nanta and Lo Kian Hien, uh, who defeated two pairs from India before eventually losing out uh, to a Danish pair. Of course, for a lot of our shuttlers, as uh, Yeo Tiamin pointed out in this short interview, which we will be seeing shortly, is that they're also collecting ranking points for the Olympic Games next year, as well as preparing for the SEA Games this year? I think um, preparation is um, the same for um, all, uh, most competitions, especially um, now preparing for um, Tokyo Olympic uh, World Ranking points. 
um, to collect world ranking points representing the country for games. So any games is a, a big thing. So I hope to be able to um, help the team as well as uh, do well individually. As always, it's always fantastic to have world class events in Singapore. And for the Singapore Shuttlers, yes, they may not have gone all the way, but still the learning experience to play against the world's best is still something that they can look forward to, especially in later editions of the Singapore Badminton. And they're always learning. And so in April, we had the Singapore Badminton Open, but there was still a lot of other stuff to look forward to, especially the HSBC Rugby Sevens. And you were there. How was the atmosphere? It was electric, Duncan. Uh, you needed to be here to, to actually experience that. And of course, we saw a new winner as well in this edition of the HSBC Singapore Rugby Sevens, South Africa edging Fiji in a, an enthralling final. They were trailing in the first half they came back and won it by just one point, 20 to 19. News also, of course, just before the tournament started, news, uh, it, was, it was released that Singapore would be hosting the HSBC Singapore Rugby Sevens for another four years until 2023. Uh, judging by this outlook of this year's competition, it, it certainly looks like it's an event that will continue uh, to be vibrant for the subsequent editions to come.